What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. It's Demarius Jackson. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about a new endeavor that I started a few weeks ago, and that is that I am pursuing the Doctor of Music Education degree at Liberty University. So I must apologize first and foremost for not having a lot of videos up lately. I've been really busy, uh, like I said, starting that degree a few weeks ago. In addition to that, I am actually going through a course. If you didn't know, I'm in the Marine Corps. So I'm going through a course right now, so it's pretty intensive but I do promise that we'll get back to those videos pretty soon here. And if you're a new viewer to the channel, make sure you subscribe because in addition to those videos, I'll also be going through my journey of uh, pursuing my doctor of music education degree. So I've always wanted to pursue a job in higher education. And in a few years, I will say a few, I really don't know, but in the next decade, I will be getting out of the military at some point. And that is a goal that I've had ever since I started my undergrad back in the uh, 2000s. So just to give you a little bit of background, my undergraduate degree, I went to a school called Winthrop University in South Carolina. I got a Bachelor of Music and Saxophone Performance there. It's really a lot of classical music. I did some jazz as well. It didn't really have a jazz studies program. Uh, so I really honestly concentrated mostly on woodwinds. My teacher actually had his DMA in multiple woodwinds from the University of North Texas. So he really nailed into all of his students. You will be a woodwind instrumentalist or a doubler if we like to call it that. Uh, so yeah, that's my background with my undergraduate degree. I didn't actually get my graduate degree until 10 years after I graduated from Winthrop in 2005. I, I attended a school called Rowan University. It's up in New Jersey, but I actually did the whole program online. It's a program specifically made for military musicians. It worked really, really well with my schedule. I was able to do weekly lessons with my teacher, uh, Professor de Blasio, Dennis de Blasio. And overall, I have no problems with the program. I honestly went in a little skeptical uh, just because I'm old school. I never really did the online lesson thing, but it worked out really, really well. There was no latency. Well, there was, but it was negligible at best. And so that degree is technically a master of music uh, with a concentration in jazz studies. And so I don't honestly have a music education per se background. A lot of the things that I've done in the military, I've, I've been fortunate enough to teach at our school of music. It's actually the Navy School of Music in Virginia Beach, Virginia. I was a woodwind instructor there and I did a couple of other things with uh, small ensembles and chamber ensemble instruction, but not formal, I guess I would call it music education. Yeah, and so that brings me to where I am at now. So my first class in this program that I'm currently taking is philosophies and music education. And I will admit that it is all brand new to me, but it's manageable. For some reason, I thought I was gonna get away with actually writing a very long paper in my master's program, and that totally was not the case. I actually ended up doing, I think it was like a 20 or 30 page paper in a course called Music and the Related Arts. Uh, but I will say that it's actually beneficial and it's helped me uh, for this class that I'm taking now. So I like to be challenged and one of the things that I know that I'm not the best at is writing and it's something uh, that I will continue to work on and I have to get better at during this program. So just to show you kind of what's going on, it's a lot of reading. I have my Oxford Handbook of Philosophy and Music Education. I've been digesting a lot of this very, very quickly. Uh, in addition to a lot of articles, obviously, and a lot of research, which is something that I actually enjoy doing. I think there's a lot of carryover between the things I do in my off time with researching my personal interest and actually using it towards this program. So like I said, it's the first course, and let me just say like the, the second week, my, my, my very first assignment for the second week is a five to 10 paper on the philosophies of a three individuals and I have another paper next week. It's, it's a lot of papers, but we're gonna get through it. I promise you we're gonna get through it. And I'm pretty sure I'm a glutton for punishment because I start my second course here in February. I wanna say it's mid-February. And what is the name of that course? I forgot what it is. Historical Developments Influencing Music Education. Got another book right here. Uh, but anyway, like I said, if you're a new viewer, become a new subscriber, follow me on this journey of education, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So hopefully you enjoyed the video, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one, out.